All right, so this morning I wanted to run a really quick little video. I probably have not uploaded anything. Honestly, I can't remember. I'm losing my mind. But just in case I have, we're doing um, the McCall's M5822 Kwit design. This may be backwards. I am such a boomer. I hate to use that term, but it's true. My camera has been mirroring and I don't know how to fix it. Um, so if it's backwards, I apologize. But again, it's a McCall's Fashion Accessories K-Wit Design M5822. And we're doing the medium, um, which is this one right here. So the, the one that I'm doing right now is for my older daughter in uh, the colorway that I think she would appreciate the most. Let me get some of this other stuff out of the way. And where we left off was the bag itself has been cut out. The lining of the bag has been cut out. And then I needed to order some fabric that would coordinate with these two pieces um, for the side and potentially a pocket. I had used the um, art gallery fabric to make sort of a quilted pocket with her initials. And again, they, they may be backwards. Um, but this pocket is a little bit bigger than the front pocket that's called for. Um, and I feel like maybe what I would like to do with this pocket is um, use it as an interior pocket potentially or um, have a um, you know one of the, this type of pocket where you create a space and stitch it down and create a space and then you've got like little pockets on the front we're going to get to that later the fabric i needed to order is for the side pieces and on this particular pattern, let's see, this is the inside that we cut out last time. And this is the outside. So what we needed to have was this piece right here that connects the front and the back. So, and I think it's a I think it's piece 11. It might be piece number 14. No, this is the top. Seems like it is piece 11 that, um, yeah. So as you can see, this is about the width that we needed. Um, it will go all the way around on the outer side. So you have to cut one out of your contrast fabric and then um, you're going to need to cut one out of the interior and then you're going to need the fusible interfacing. If you're using the buckram on this pattern, you would need one of that as well. I'm only going to be using the fabric and the um, fleecy interfacing and then um, the other fabric. So I'll have a lining I'll have an outer fabric, the, the fleecy inner facing, and then the other lining. And I'm going to do that out of this, which is what I ordered. And it arrived last night. It is an Amazon um, piece of fabric, um, one yard. It's a Deer, uh, Deer Stella fabric, I believe. Let's open it up and see. I was so happy to have gotten it last night. I don't like to use my good scissors on plastic, so just use these little stitch scissors here. The reason I'm doing that is I want to save this label in case I need to reorder. I'll have all the numbers. And I try not to throw plastic bags away, so if I can reuse them, I will. Okay. 
almost alrighty so as you can see it is bird themed let's see what we have here yes it is a dear Stella fabric and it is called I think it's called Digital Day. Dear Stella. Hmm. Okay, well, it's a Dear Stella design. I'll hold this up so you can see it. Actually, it is. August Wren. Okay, so that's, I wasn't reading that correctly. So it's August Wren for Dear Stella, and it's a Dear Stella design, and I ordered it on Amazon. It has a really nice hand. It is a little heavier, a little bit more um, starch to it than the art gallery fabrics. If you are familiar with Liberty, fabrics at all these feel very much like a liberty and this feels almost like a um like a broadcloth all of them are 100 percent cotton and there's the yard of uh, 45 inch wide and i'm going to cut it um probably in a single we'll try it like that see if our So if I fold, I can easily get my two pieces like this, um, and I'll still have lots of yardage left, which I wanted because I'm also going to use it as the um, uh, the top. I don't want to tear my pattern piece; they're just kind of wadded up over here. But this is this is the um, this I think this is the strap. So this is the strap that's going to go around the top, you know, across the, the pocket and up, up to the top, like this. On both sides, and then I'll have enough left to do this little edge trim that goes around the top part of the bag and I realize that's a lot of pink um, but the theme and the color is perfect for um, the person that will receive this bag um, those are basically her jam and so that's what I was waiting for And if you're wondering how I chose this fabric, it was really a simple matter of taking this piece of fabric and holding it up to my phone while I was looking on Amazon. Um, because this is the outer, I wanted to make sure that the reds in this art gallery and the reds in this Dear Stella were similar. And as you can see, they are extremely similar. They're almost indistinguishable in some of this. I don't know, it might be hard to see that on the camera, but there are some darker shades in this wren and in this bird that totally align. And the green, of course is complementary. There's a lot of yellow in this little sage and there's a lot of yellow in this deeper color here. So they they really do blend very, very well. And then if you look at the orange, or however you say that word, orange, orange, we have some in the underbelly of this little wren and then in the parrot, there is also some orange. So these colors do align 
Um, I, I chose to stay away from anything. Oh, sorry about that. Stay away from anything that had um, an overwhelming blue, even a blue-green. Um, mint and yellow, to me, always look really pretty together. So I felt like if I had a pink background, trying to match a mint. Did I say yellow? Mint and pink match up. But trying to find a mint um, that would really be similar to this, I, I didn't have confidence that I could do that using my phone and a, an actual real piece of fabric. So I chose to go with a pink. Um, I feel like those colors are very complementary. And then um, tried to make sure that the reds and the orange and the green, the deeper shades of green, would in some way complement each other without being too overwhelming. Um, and I, I know that sometimes having a theme, which we've got the birds here as well as birds here, can be a little overwhelming. But when this fabric is cut into the pieces that I need, it's really going to look more like a calico. There might be some pieces where there are actual full cutout bird um, sections. And I could even cut it in such a way if I fussy cut where I could get more of a calico um, look. But I'm going to go for as much of the design as possible. And I think you'll see that it looks really good once we get that, that completed. Um, this is a short video. I don't unfortunately have time to do a full video with a tutorial on cutting and sewing, but I will be back at it next week. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to drop a comment, like, and subscribe if you wish. Um, and we'll get to sewing next week. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.